What if I told you your Samsung phone could look like it came straight out of a Netflix series? Not just a wallpaper, not just icons, but lock screen, always on display, message apps, settings menu, dialer, and everything. So today I'm showing you one of the coolest collaborations Samsung has ever done. Plus six powerful customization features that will completely change how you use your Galaxy phone every single day. So some of these features are brand new, some are classic, but all of them are insanely useful. And a quick message before we start, thank you so much to everyone who watched my last video. Your support honestly means a lot. Let's try to hit 350 likes on this one. The more you like it, the more YouTube shares it to other Samsung users. So if this video helps you out even a little, please like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let's jump in. So feature number one is our Stranger Thing Netflix theme on your Samsung Galaxy device. So Samsung and Netflix have teamed up for a brand new collaboration. So they released a stunning official theme to promote Stranger Things Season 5. And yes, it works beautifully even in dark mode and light mode. So let me show you. So first we have the lock screen. So it features high quality graphics of the Stranger Things characters. And it's not just a static image. It's basically a live video wallpaper moving subtly in the background while your clock stays clean and readable on the top. So this basically makes it look cinematic, looks premium. And honestly, it feels like something you expect on a flagship phone only. Now let's check out the always on display. So it's a very similar pattern of what you get on the lock screen. The clock sits here at the top. So this basically gives your phone this mysterious sci-fi vibe every time you glance at it. So this is perfect for the fans of the show. Now with the quick panel and the user interface, when you swipe down the quick panel, boom. Bold red accents on the toggle, clean contrast and a design that stays readable even in light mode. So this is flashy without being messy. Now we'll look at the settings menu and the dialer. So if you go ahead and open up settings, the setting app is fully redesigned with red and orange icons, grainy black background, and super unique sci-fi look. Even the phone dialer is customized, so you'll see the main characters in the background while calling and a bold red call icon in the center. So Samsung really went all out with this one. So let me show you how to get this. So to use this Netflix Stranger Thing theme, you must have Netflix app installed on your Galaxy phone, then you need to go ahead and search in Galaxy Theme Store. So first, make sure Netflix is installed and you're logged in. So I have installed Netflix and I'm logged in. Next, you wanna go ahead and open up the store, so Samsung Galaxy Store. Now here, you wanna go ahead and search and search for themes. Go ahead and search for Stranger Things. So here, this is the theme which you require. Tap on this and then go ahead and apply this. So as you can see, this is what you're gonna get as a preview. So it's a perfect example of how powerful Samsung customization system really is. So just be careful when you're using this theme, you need to go ahead and make sure you're not in dark mode. With dark mode, you won't see that effect in the background. Your call dialer will be the same, but if you go ahead and switch over to the light mode, you'll then get to see all those effects. So here, some icons won't perfectly match. So to fix this, you wanna go ahead and open up your Good Lock app, go to the theme park, now here you can go and tap on icons, create your very own. And here you wanna go ahead and create a grainy look effect. So here, if you go ahead and choose film grain. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and create your grain look icon. As, I, uh, as you can see over here, go ahead and create that and then go ahead and use it on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this makes everything looks professionally redesigned. Now feature number two is where you can add a volume button to your navigation bar. Now imagine this, you're using your phone with one hand, you're scrolling through Instagram, watching YouTube, replying to messages. Suddenly a loud video starts playing. You shift your grip, your phone almost slips. You try to press the volume button awkwardly. We've all been there. This is exactly why this feature is so powerful. So using a module in GoodLock called Navstar, you can go ahead and add a volume button directly to your navigation bar right here. So instead of reaching for these physical buttons right here on the side awkwardly, you get a software volume button right at the bottom of your screen. So Navstar allows you to customize your navigation bar and one of the hidden feature is adding a volume up and a volume down button or a volume panel shortcut. So this is right next to your home, recent and your back icon. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and you wanna find Navstar. Turn this feature on and here you'll go ahead and create a new configuration. So now we'll go ahead and tap on button layout and we'll go ahead and add a button. Now from here, you wanna find the volume button. So find the volume up and volume down. So we wanna add both of these icons here. Now we'll press done, we'll press save, go ahead and scroll down and we'll go ahead and find that. So it's right here. 
Now we can go and press home. And now as you can see, you have a volume up and volume down button right here. So if you wanna increase the volume, just do it from here. If you wanna decrease it, just do it from here. No more finding those buttons here awkwardly and trying to remember which one it is. So this completely changes your one-handed use. You can adjust volume while walking, while holding groceries, while lying in bed, or while using public transport. No hand gymnastic required, no risk of dropping your phone as well. So this is also a lifesaver. So if your physical buttons are broken, you can go ahead and use that. Or if you're using a thick case, sometimes volume buttons cannot be pressed and you can go ahead and use it from here on screen. So once you use this, going back feels impossible. Now, feature number three is your One UI 8.5 3D icons. So let's talk about how your phone feels when you unlock it, because design matters. So most phone uses flat icons like these. They look fine, but they don't feel special. So with Icon Pack Studio and 3D Extra Icon Pack, you can turn your entire phone into a modern 3D interface, just like the ones that you see on One UI 8.5. So the Icon Pack Studio lets you install custom icons that apply to home screen, app drawers, folders, and even system apps. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, go ahead and open up the Play Store, search for Icon Pack Studio. So this is the app you require. Go ahead and open it. So now from here, you wanna go ahead and search for 3D Extra Icon Pack. So this is what you need. No. So this is what you need. Go ahead and download it. And then once it's in your library, go ahead and tap on it and install it. So apply it. Go and press OK. OK again. Just wait for a minute. Go ahead and press OK. This will now take you to your My Files. Go ahead and tap on Download. Go ahead and find that exported icon and update it. Now go ahead and install this. Now you wanna go ahead and press done. Now next you wanna go ahead and open up your Good Luck app. Now in the Good Luck app, open Theme Park, then tap on Icon, tap on Create New, go ahead and tap on Icon here, Icon Pack, go ahead and find the one that you just exported, and then go ahead and change the shape, press Save, I will just put down 8.5, one UI, and then go ahead and apply that to your Samsung Galaxy device home screen. And let's have a look at it. So here your phone certainly feels more premium, more modern, more personalized. So it literally looks like a new device. And if you combine it with the Stranger Things theme, your setup looks professionally designed. So it's a customization that people notice. Now, feature number four is where you can take a screenshot by swiping right on your screen. So taking a screenshot should be easy, but on most phones, you have to press two buttons here, you miss it, you lock the screen, and you try again. Annoying, right? Samsung has a better way. So using one hand operation plus, you can assign gestures to the edge of your screen. So you can just go ahead and swipe like this, and you can go ahead and take a screenshot. It's that simple. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down and find One Hand Operation Plus. Go ahead and turn this feature on, and then we'll go ahead and use our left handle. So we'll go ahead and assign a straight right swipe. So this will basically take a screenshot for us. So from this list, go ahead and find Screenshot, and then go ahead and press Back. Now go ahead and press Home, and now you wanna take a screenshot, just go ahead and swipe right, and it's taken a screenshot for you. So you can do this anywhere, on a gallery, Take a screenshot on the internet, take a screenshot. So you can take screenshots with one hand without looking, without changing a grip and without pressing any buttons. So this is perfect for saving receipts, capturing messages, taking notes from videos or a quick social media saves. So once you learn this gesture, button screenshot feels ancient. Now feature number five is where you can turn on secret voice recording with the side button. So this one feels straight out of a spy movie. You double tap on your power button on the side button here and your phone starts recording audio instantly. No screen wake up, no unlocking, no notifications. So you can set your side button shortcut to voice recorder even when your phone is locked. So let me show you how to do this. So here you wanna go ahead and long press on your side button, you'll get this menu. 
From here, tap on Side Button Settings. Now, if you don't get that menu and it opens up your Google Assistant, go ahead and open up Settings. From here, go ahead and scroll down and find Advanced Features. From here, find Side Button. Now, from here, you want to go ahead and find Double Press. Turn that on. And then from the list, go ahead and find Voice Recorder. Here, you can go ahead and choose Open Voice Recorder or Start Recording. We want to go ahead and start recording. Now, we'll press Home. Now, we'll go ahead and lock the phone. We'll go ahead and double tap now. And as you can see, it has started to record. So this is while the phone was locked. So it's still recording while your phone screen has switched off. So this is perfect for meetings, lectures, interviews, or just sudden ideas, or when you're in trouble. So you never miss that important information again. It's also discreet, so you can record anyone, and your phone stays off, no attention to the phone, just your recording. Now, feature number six is your secret lock screen wallpaper album. So most people use only one wallpapers for months. That's boring. Samsung lets you turn your lock screen into a slideshow. So you can select up to 15 photos from your gallery. Samsung will automatically rotate them every time you lock or unlock your phone. So here, if I go ahead and tap on gallery, we'll go ahead and select some photos from here. Let's go ahead and select this. Now we'll go ahead and tap on the three dots more and then we'll tap on set as wallpaper. So here we'll tap on set as wallpaper for our lock screen. So now that's done, you can go ahead and apply filters to it. And then we'll tap on done. Now we'll go ahead and check out our wallpaper. So I'll go ahead and lock the phone, I'll wake it up. And as you can see, that's a new wallpaper. We'll go ahead and just sleep it, wake it up again. And that's a new wallpaper. And like this, every time you unlock and lock your phone, you get a new wallpaper. So out of that 15 wallpapers, all of those wallpapers will cycle through. So you can use family photos, travel shots, anime art, aesthetic wallpapers, or even the Stranger Things images. Your lock screen becomes personal, not just a screen, but a memory board. Now, lastly, feature number seven, where you can blur home screen wallpaper for a perfect transition from lock screen to home screen. So here's a small trick that makes your phone look clean and professional. So when you use the same wallpaper for lock screen and home screen, it often becomes messy. Let me just show you. So here we'll go ahead and set this as our wallpaper for our lock screen and home screen. Go ahead and tap. Now, as you can see, if I go ahead and lock the screen, my lock screen looks great. I like the look. However, if I go ahead and unlock it and go to my home screen. So as you can see, all of my icons look really messy. The wallpaper doesn't look nice now. And sometimes I can't even read these text as well. So icons hide behind the wallpaper and the text becomes really hard to read. So Samsung allows you to blur the home screen wallpaper while keeping the lock screen sharp. So to do this, you want to go ahead and long press on your home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, tap on your home screen. Now here, make sure that image is there, then tap on effects. And then here you want to go ahead and swipe left until you see blur. So as you can see, blur has really made a difference and you can basically now see the icons more properly and you can read these texts as well. You can go ahead and even choose colors if you like, or you can go ahead and just leave it as blur. Now you can go ahead and tap on apply. Press done. And now you'll see the magic happen. So once I lock this, that's my lock screen. When I go ahead and unlock it, you'll see that smooth transition from your lock screen to your home screen. So this way you get a beautiful lock screen, clean home screen. You get that transition in between. You get easy to read icons, smooth visual transitions. And this basically feels intentional. It's like something designed by Samsung itself. And that's it guys. So today you learned how to turn your phone into a Stranger Thing device, control volume with one thumb, add 3D icons, take instant screenshots, record secretly, create a wallpaper slideshow, and clean up your home screen like a pro. Not bad for one phone. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, let's hit 350 likes on this video. The more you like it, the more YouTube recommends it. Thank you again to everyone who supported my last video, and I'll see you in the next one.